This is Big 20, leader of the Powerhouse family. Y'all go check out TB Killer over on YouTube. Respect the shooter. Right now, everybody's so separated from each other. Right? Everybody's separate. Shaky was that one type of person that could be in the keys, but still talk to everybody else and bring them all together on, on his panel. That's what this app needs is a shaky. Dre Baby ain't doing it. I thought Dre Baby was going to be able to come over and be that shaky, but Dre Baby getting into his own little mess. For the Facebook side, they need a shaky. But everybody's so worried about recapping everybody else's live that they forget to bring their own content and be that, you know, that Dr. Phil Abigo for them. See, I can't do it because I'm on the business side. I can just give them a little bit of sense and talk about it. And hey, if they're going to hate on me for, for talking about it or their supporters are going to hate on me for talking about it, so be it. But each and every one of you guys that are support those broadcasters need to know that they need to have better people around them. And it starts with you in the comments because you're the one that's pushing them into the things that they get into. You're the one that's putting the gas to their fire. And that goes for any broadcaster on here. It doesn't matter if you're on the business side, messy side, goddamn LGBT side. Hell, even the international Asian side. It all starts with our comments and the people that surround us because they're the ones that, that gas us up. They do because they're gonna be in here, right? And right now, even if they got some supporters for those broadcasts probably running over there right now, you should hear what Big 20 said. I recorded it, I recorded it. Check this out. Right? It's just what it is. I wish it went back because, you know, before all this money happened on Beagle, this app was a totally different app. This app was all about community. This app was all about, you know, trying to rise to stardom and who could get there. And we celebrated each other for, for hitting again a dragon. You know, a dragon used to be so much. Now we make fun of somebody for getting a dragon. That's all you got was a dragon? What the fuck? It's terrible. 10K, that's all you can hit. But you can't forget where you came from because we were all at zero at one time. We were all at zero at one Yeah, now throw me a yacht. We were all at zero at one time. We all had to learn this app and figure it out. And that's why I do what I do on this app. Right? I teach Beagle. I don't charge nobody. My satisfaction is you hit making it. You coming back three, four months later saying, yo, 20, I took your advice. I started my family and we're killing it. I hit a 600K tier. That is satisfaction right there. That's what it's all about. Helping each other rise and make some money. Because it's us versus Bigo, not us versus us. And everybody forgot about that. Everybody forgot where they're, where they're working for. We're all an employee. Nobody's better than the next person. So your favorite broadcaster that thinks he's, you know, king shit and has this big relationship with Bigo, you're expendable. When the next big thing comes, you're expendable. So don't, you know, humble yourself a little bit, especially on that messy side. You got to understand that, you know, the people that are around you, they're going to bring you down. They're going to bring you down. So you surround yourself with people that are, you know, uplifting and want to see great things from you. Because you've seen already with Dre Baby. They fired him with the quickness. He was supposed to be the face of Beagle, right? 
If the face of Beagle could get fired with a quickness, each and every one of y'all can as well. Halo, what color would you like? Humble them quickly, exactly. Halo, what color would you like? Pink today. All right, we got you. <laughs> but no, for real, like this gala, I felt like a lot of people that came to the gala came for one reason. That was to network. Right. Then the network went out the window when the mess started and the mess started two days before the gala. Right. So everybody's eyes were already, you know, already ready for the fight. People were coming just for the fight. They were sitting at the bar waiting for something to happen. And people wanted to make a moment. Exactly. They wanted to be that person that's going to be on YouTube. Or we've seen TV killer in the building. They want to be on TV killer show, right? The thing is, they forgot what they were there for. And that was to, to make a mark, an impact. To make those damn Beagle admins and executives know who they were as a human. Right, so to, to meet your account manager and actually voice your concerns in person. That's what it should have been. Because I met a lot of broadcasters at the gala. A lot of messy broadcasters that I seen the human side in them. Because when they spoke to me, it was more of a, a respect thing. Because, oh my God, I'm talking to Big 20. And I went from the LGBT side all the way to the messy side. You know, I seen Madam Lowe. It was all respect. I seen Big 20. I seen 21. All respect. TKO. All respect. Right? On all sides. And that's what I try to tell people. Branch out. Don't just put yourself to one side. Put your side all over the app. Make your name ring bells and make an impact all over the place. You know, and be respectful until they disrespect you. How was it seeing Sylvie? It was great. Except for everybody thinks Sylvie is my wife because of the picture she posted. <laughs> Even the commenters respect me? Yeah. That's because I keep it 100. I keep it transparent. I don't got nothing to lie about. I don't have any you know, any stakes in the game. I just act as, you know, the conscience. Right? I act as the conscience. Because we are here to make money. We are here to make a name for ourselves. And yeah, some people need to go the negative route to make a name for themselves, like a big poppy who speaks himself into existence. But he's at least hustling. He's on here doing his time. He's he's hustling, making all these damn hosts hosts. He's doing it. So I respect the hustle. Do I respect his angle? Not really. Right? Because, you know, he takes other people down while he does it. However, I still respect the hustle. That goes to show that I respect everybody's game on here. Brandon Keys. I never met a Brandon Keys in my life. However, you got to respect the hustle. He's been here three, four years with a lot of hosts that he's come on here. And he's made an impact and a name for himself. Regardless if it was evil or it was bad or not. He's still here. And he knows how to turn it off and be professional when it means something. The ones that don't, that come on here and, like, that lost it. The ones that are getting fired right now. Right, like a, like 21, Savannah, Low. 
They don't know how to turn it off. They got they need better people around them. Especially 21. She had so much to offer if she just went back to just entertainment and stopped worrying about, you know, people speaking on her name that she has to get a get back at. Fuck the get back. The get back will be you coming back and hitting a three million tier and telling everybody that you running shit. That's the get back. Not the get back where I need to pull up and throw rocks at your house or fight you or or do that stuff. That's not a get back. Right? Yeah, she still gets beans, but does it equate to a tier that's going to make her money on the back end? No, because she'll get keep getting banned. Because all these people, she a drunk, yeah. That's because she wants to be the center of attention right now. But the center of attention would be that one when she's hitting those big numbers, and everybody's like, "Yo, Twenty One's killing it." Right? She brought it back and killed it. Not this, all this other bullshit and petty shit that's going on. A lot of those broadcasters fall off. If you look at every one of those broadcasters, they fell off. Trina B fell off. God Zeus fell off. Goddamn fucking Savannah fell off. What was the other one that had no tongue and shit? Goddamn. Um... Not Madam Lowe. The one I had no tongue. Cammy. Cammy fell off. Goddamn fucking. Um, and they were all doing well when they first come on. Right? They were all doing well. How do I feel about Stone? Well, Stone. Stone's not really a broadcaster. Stone. Like he's not like a, a messy influencer. Stone is injected into it because he is Robert's best friend. So he's going to stick up for Robert regardless. But Stone's, Stone comes on and he likes to do raffles. And he likes to sit back and put his, his commentary. He got a good gift for Gab. He could talk. He could, you know, voice things out and do all that stuff. Sometimes he interjects into the wrong, wrong shit and gets against the... Uh, gets himself put up against you know people that he shouldn't be going against right because no he shouldn't even insert himself into some of that business but he's going to do it for robert regardless because that's you know that's his best friend so and we like stone i love stone stone's stone's a character right that's his best friend in real life yeah so you know i got nothing bad to say about stone other than you know Stone Stone tends to stay in his lane. He tends to stay in his lane. He's kind of like Llama, right? If you look at like Stone and Llama are like those type of broadcasters that have their own lane that doesn't need to get into the messy side or do any of that stuff because they're going to have followers or people that come to their room regardless. So they have their own, own type of thing there. But the fallouts, the fallouts are crazy, right? When, when anybody falls out with Robert, they follow suit, right? Stone will follow suit, which, which isn't fair, which isn't fair, right? If you have a relationship with somebody else, just because Robert don't like them doesn't mean, like for me, I could give fuck who, who, who Zeus falls out with until that person fucks me over. I'm not switching up. I'm not switching up. On nobody you know nobody's ever telling me I can't sit with somebody because they don't like somebody it ain't happening that way I'm a grown-ass adult you ain't tell me who to sit with All right so that's the thing on this app is that a lot of y'all founders or people that you look up to will try to make you pick sides and when you don't pick the side that they don't like now you are expendable to them 
Now they could give a fuck. Now you can get the fuck out too. That's terrible. How are you going to switch up on somebody that's been supporting you for two, three years? All because they did not agree with the comment or did not agree with what you, you're, what you are portraying online. You need, you don't need a bunch of yes men around you. That's the problem with a lot of these, you know, top broadcasters is they want yes men around them. Fuck that. I don't want no yes men around me. There's no room for growth when you have yes men around you because now you're just the dominating force. What's my take on I don't even know who Milan is. I've been on this app thing. I've never crossed paths with Milan. I know who he is, but I've never, never spoke to Milan ever in my life. I just know he does commercials or shit like that or something. I don't have no idea. Oh, he had... Doesn't he have his own, like, you know, booty hole sex toy, sex toy that you could buy and shit? I don't know about y'all. I don't know if somebody's going to be molding my booty hole so people could be slamming it and coming into my comments and talking about it. I just slammed you last night. <laughs> no, you cannot be my yes, man. <laughs> he was on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Okay, okay. Yeah, I have no idea. That's all I know from that. Somebody somebody slid that across my desk. Just like Zeus said he was going to get... Uh, they were going to mold his penis and have that out there for people to buy. Did I ever think I would be this big on Beagle? No idea. When I first started Beagle, I did not, I did not think that's where I was going to go. And then... Because listen, when I first came on Beagle, I was a comedian. I was a DJ. Play music, talk shit, you know, just have fun. And then once I started to make my first paycheck and I seen the real money and I cashed out and I seen that there was dollars involved, I switched right up. I switched right up. And I was like, okay, we gotta take this serious. This is a, a lucrative business. Let's focus and try to be the best because I'm very competitive no matter what I do. I went two years in a row without losing a single PK. I am very competitive. And back then it was all com competition PKs. So I was known as like, you know, the scared people were people were scared to PK me back in the day. All the big all the big people are. And I was very competitive. And now it's like, now that there's no competition, I had to find a new lane. And my new lane is to teach Bigo and make people make money around me. And so now my, my whole goal is to put money into your guys' pockets because now I have rich people around me, right? If you, if you look at powerhouse and my family, everybody in my family got money. It's not just the founder. It trickles down all the way down. So never say, yo, I need something. Everybody got some, right? And that was the whole goal of it. No broke friends. No broke friends. Yeah, right, Sam. Well, you just did a box, PK. You're chilling. There's no broke friends. That's the that's the mantra for 2024. No broke friends. You know, when you go to when you go out. Think of it this way. When you go out and your friend don't have nothing and you're like, oh, we're about to have dinner right now. Are you going to let your friend starve and sit on the goddamn bench outside? Or are you going to say, yo, let's go. We got I got you. And not sit there and request a goddamn dollar. That's the type of person I am. I'm not going to penny pinch my friend. I'm not going to put them out there like that because there might be a time that I'm like that. And I wouldn't want somebody to do that to me. Right? And I'm not going to make a big scene about it. Oh, well, let me screenshot the receipt and you can get me back when we get to, the, you know, wherever we're going. Nah, I'm going to buy you your food. And you get me the next time. I'm not going to put you on blast and make you feel some type of way.
It's fluent. Exactly. That's a real friendship. When you start penny pinching and, and counting your friend's pockets, that's not a friendship. That's a dictatorship. That's you trying to make your friend belittle your friend. So no broke friends is the mantra for 2024. We're going to make every make sure everybody's hitting on all cylinders and everybody's doing what they need to do to make money here on Bego. You know, we're going to amp up the classes. We're going to try to get people to do it the correct way so nobody bleeds money and loses money. Because that's what I feel like everybody's doing right now because they're listening to the wrong people. The wrong people are getting to their head telling them they need to recharge thousands of dollars that they're never going to recoup. That they're never going to recoup. Right? If you if you recharge any type of money on here, you got to have the right people around you and make smart investments because you can't just recharge and throw on your founder and your founder said, don't worry, I got you. Right? The only way you can make money right now, Jinja, is to become a host and, and try to scrape it from the mud. You got to come on here and you got to work and do what I'm doing right now. Go live and see what kind of, you know, following you can generate. Business comes later. Right? Business comes later. So you need to find yourself an agency out there in the UK. Jinja. Yeah. And that's the thing. People on, you know, people on here have the nerve to charge their own host money. Their own host money to, to teach them Beagle. That is fucked up. Why would you handicap your own host? That is fucked up. Why would you charge your own host money to learn for them to make you money? That's just the, the most retarded shit I've ever heard in my goddamn life. Yeah, that's crazy. Like my host shit. Well, it's just not. It's it's about powerhouse. It's not just about powerhouse. It's about because there's a lot of people that come to my life that aren't part of powerhouse, but part of this structure, right? Next man up mentality is what you need to have. If you've been on here for a week, take the time to help somebody that's been on here for a day. You will be there day one. They're never going to forget you. So they might turn into a superstar. It might bring you up the ladder. You know, you got to think of the big picture, not the short-term picture. My one-on-one lessons are all transparent. So everybody can hear. I don't do none of those one-on-ones behind the scenes because it's the same thing you're going to learn in the live anyways. My one-on-ones are always transparent. I do it right on my live so everybody can see it. So if you need help with your content, if you need help with what you're doing, jump in my box during my class and say, yo, can I ask you a few questions? That's your time to come up there and ask those questions. And don't be afraid. No question is a stupid question. We all had to ask questions when we first started Bigo. But when you don't know how many people you can help by just answering one person's question. Because there's other people, there's other people that maybe want to ask that question and are too afraid to. So by you asking that question, it helps them. Exactly. And I like to do it transparent because I don't like to, I don't like to hide my hands. The only time I hide my hands is when I'm into a competition where I'll fake you out and I'll go live and I'll, I'll, I'll pretend that fucking I'm going for something or I'm not going for something and really go for it. I just That's the only time I'm going to hide my hands. Anything else, I'm going to be transparent. 
If I find something new, the first thing I do is go live and let y'all know. I don't like to keep a, a secret formula or recipe because we all have our own formulas. No matter how much I give you, you're always going to have your own formula. You just got to take bits and pieces of what I give you and add it to that formula. But also got to go listen to other... If you're a female, you need to go find a female broadcaster too that's killing it and take bits and pieces from her. Right? Because not one person is going to know every answer. And not every answer is going to be suitable to you. We all come from different backgrounds. What up, St. Louis Bone? We all come from different, you know, lifestyles. So. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to end this live. Good morning to everybody. I hope y'all have a great day. I know we got a lot of viewers, six, seven hundred viewers being right now. So we got to end this live. <laughs> all right, we'll do another.